or almost noon time. I'm on just a tad bit early today. I was uh, doing my best to work from home there a little bit before we head into the office. I had my laptop because uh, pretty much took the day off on Friday, but I was checking email and turning a few calls, things like that. But look at this beautiful sunshine. Welcome to Chicago. This is Lincoln Park. We're up by Fullerton. Fullerton's right up there, just beyond that bus. Here's the North Pond we were up here this morning. And I'm gonna experiment with Streamlabs here on YouTube in the ver ver vertical format here. Look at the tree blooming here. We got the nice, look at these signs of spring. What is this, March 11th? But before St. Patrick's Day, and we got the little blue flowers here blooming. Look how nice that looks. And uh, we got the preschool kids are out there playing in the lawn in front of the Bell and Stratford. It looks like spring. I mean, look at the bright sunshine. I mean, usually we don't get this bright sunshine until April. I don't know if it's my imagination or I'm just jonesing after a long winter here for this beautiful weather. And see, yeah, there's daycares all around here. Yeah, Chris, you see the buds? I mean, it's amazing how the trees, the, the smaller ornamental ones, we'll see it up here by the Shakespeare statue. Look, they're reading a book. Look how nice that is, the preschool there. There's uh, many preschools around here. And if, you know, during the pandemic, I would work from home. Look, here's the, there's the uh, birdhouse pagoda. I would work from home and you'd see the preschool they they all they all would tether to a rope when they cross the street they sing a little song it's so cute i never noticed that until i was working from home for so long and then now i've been going to downtown so i don't see it anymore but there yeah you go out to the park here on these nice sunny days take advantage of it get out and get some vitamin d sunshine hey amber krista may the way i roll yeah chris everybody thanks for tuning in yeah How's it? How's how's the resolution looking? Uh, you notice I'm in the vertical format, and the reason I'm doing that, I want to see if YouTube's gonna start pushing it. If you if you if you do in the vertical format like TikTok, there's YouTube's finally supposed to push it in the shorts. Here's Billy Shakespeare. Here's the Belton Stratford looking nice. But yeah, look at the look at the signs of spring here. Thanks for tuning in. Happy. Uh, Monday for the lunch bunch here. Look at the, we got the blue flowers. These 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 bloom every year. Look at the beautiful blue flowers here. This is Lincoln Park, Chicago. We got little buds on the little ornamental trees here. Yeah, I'm in portrait. Yeah, then that's that's yeah, that's up by design the way I roll. I'm I'm doing it on purpose because I want to see if we get any new people that are just scrolling through. The YouTube calls them shorts. Look at the, look at the kids playing here. Here's the kids playing at the preschool here. They there's many preschools, not just one. There's there's one there. There's one on Clark Street, and they come over to the park when it's nice weather, and this is like their recess, and it's all supervised. You know, it's all they got their uh, daycare providers there supervising everything. Here we'll go under the. Uh, tunnel here so I'm gonna walk to work I'm just the normal walk that I do in the mornings on TikTok since we saw the sunrise this morning I work from see here's a whole different group look at there's three different groups of preschool kids out here enjoying the recess here see we went to the conservatory on Friday because I was working from home or on PTO from home there's the uh, look at that there's the John Hancock with the fountain. This is the nice formal planting gardens. Yeah, I know most people prefer the panorama. Again, this is an experiment. I, I'm not, I'm not uh, gonna, I'll probably still continue in the landscape for, for, for format. I just wanna do an experiment because, okay, there's, there's several things going on. We talk about this. We never know if, if Congress is serious about the TikTok ban or not. It's funny, it's becoming political. There's being statements made by even TikTok is bouncing around there. You know, it's going to be a campaign issue. It's so funny. But uh, 
uh, Congress is getting serious about trying to get TikTok to at least divest, have some American buy it up, or truly ban it. And I can like I said, how can I take any of this seriously? People are like, uh, how much money you make from TikTok? I'm like, the company might be gone in six months. You know, it's just like you can't put any stock in anything. I got I got uh, YouTube as a backup, and we do this anyway, just you know, dealing with the algorithm. That's why you know I really appreciate the Lunch Bunch and everybody else for uh, giving me an audience here, and uh, we'll continue to do it. I like the landscape for a lot of things. The landscape really, you can see more, but then, you know, <laughs> here's my conundrum, and you, you understand it, especially on the lunch bunch. I got people on TikTok that will not watch YouTube, and they really won't watch YouTube when it's in landscape format because they use their phones 100% of the time. They won't watch from the computer TV screen, and they won't turn their phone sideways. They consider it like a purism thing or something. I don't know. I, I, and uh, TikTok won't push, if I do the reruns at landscape, TikTok won't push them because it messes up their format. And because they want the endless scroll, endless scroll where you can scroll in one direction and it, 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 met, it freaks everybody out, they have to turn their phone. Isn't that so funny? But uh, you, most of you, watch on your TVs, computer screens, so the landscape works pretty good, but uh, there's limitations. And so I have to have a backup in case we do have to switch from TikTok to YouTube because Congress. So I got to be, I'm all prepared. I'm all backed up here on YouTube so we can continue what we do either way. But hey, look at the signs of spring here. We got the beautiful flowers here. Yeah, it looks funny on the big screen. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's weird. You're on your phone most of the time, Tara. See, so, you know, you know, there's positive, negatives, everything. I can't, you know, welcome to my world. No matter what I post, we get the full spectrum of people that like it, hate it. Same with landscape. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Same with TikTok and YouTube. We just got to keep trying different things until we find the thing that works the most for the most people. And there'll be some people that uh, will, will never like it no matter what it is. But here, let me do this over again. So here, welcome to Chicago. Welcome to the Lincoln Park Zoo. See, we're, we're entering the main gate here at the Lincoln Park Zoo. Thanks for tuning in. We're just doing my walk to work here. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And See, we're at the West Gate here. And you know where we're at. We were here, uh, we were here on Friday, but remember, it was all rainy and gloomy. It was raining really bad on Friday. <laughs> I always think that's a real monkey. It's not a real monkey. They got a... A train right here for the kids there and they, they got the uh, Columbus monkey there statue pretty lifelike thanks Gregory appreciate it thanks uh, Sanjay thanks uh, Tara Chris and if anybody if anybody's tuning in and you just were scrolling through the scroll or through the re or you were scrolling through the shorts the YouTube shorts and you happen to discover my live stream and like it Please let me know. That's what I'm interested in seeing if YouTube's going to push the vertical, even through Streamlabs, if they're going to push it on YouTube or not. Because that's what they need to do for the live streamers to be able to compete on YouTube with TikTok. Until they do that, no one can discover your live streams and we're limited to the amount of people that I subscribe to. Or subscribe to me, I subscribe to them, whatever. You know what's going on. Yeah, I smell the popcorn. I smell the food here. And uh, you didn't jump in from the notification. So Tara, so you were you were you were watching the shorts and you 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 got you got you got my my uh, stream just coming through YouTube there, or you just happened to tune in there. That's that's good. That's good. Thanks, Gregory. Thanks for the feedback. Yeah, Tara, you did. You 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 so good. Tara, thanks for the feedback. I just saw your comment there. So you were scrolling through the shorts and it pushed, because I was live streaming, it pushed it on to the shorts. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. Look at this. See, they, they do a lot of wedding pictures here. Engagement. I take other people's photos here. Look, they got the waterfall here. Look at the signs of spring here. You see the weeping willows across the way. This is the swan pond, or at least what I call the swan pond. And... Uh, Historically, this little body of water used to be connected with 
the south pond, but they closed it off, and now it's its own pond, and look how it has this little waterfall. Memory of Dave and Ethel Bar Barazel. Yeah, look at that. Hey, we're at the Lincoln Park Zoo. Welcome to Chicago. We got a beautiful day. Let me check my other phone there to see what the actual temperature is here. I think we got to be in the 50s. We got to be. Hold on here. Come on. Yeah, 53 degrees. My phone's saying 53 degrees here. We're not even at noon. We're 11:56. There's the reptile house. Remember, we, if you missed it, we went in the reptile house on Friday. We saw the bush baby. Two bush babies. We saw uh, snakes and lizards and iguanas and all kinds of fun stuff. And hey, the flamingos are out. We'll go by the pink flamingos. I'm just heading to work here. I am going to go all the way downtown. So we'll, we'll be walking at least for probably another hour as we head through Lincoln Park, the Gold Coast, and Michigan Avenue on our way to my place of employment. And uh, here, look at the look at the flamingos, pink flamingos here on a Monday noontime. Yeah, I got I got some uh, I got some moderators. I still want to add uh, Diana and Anita. I gotta find their handles because I think their names are different than their, their handles or something. I was able to add a few people, and it, just in the interim, uh, I think Chris has rights. I think the way I roll, I gave you rights to bounce people. I know you're not a moderator. I just did it just in case because we're experimenting and we might get some new people that aren't typically in the lunch bunch. But here, Chilean flamingo chicks. We got some Chilean flamingo chicks. Do you see any of them out there? I guess they're all grown up now. Here's the fl here's the flamingos at uh, Lincoln Park Zoo. Yeah. Good, you can switch back and forth. Yeah, pink flamingos. See, these are the real ones, not the ones you got in your yard there, but they were good. See, it's good to have options, Tara, isn't it? You know, I always knew this day might come where Congress actually got serious about all the threats to ban in TikTok. Now, I'm not leaving TikTok. We'll ride it to the end. I mean, the, we've been through this war. Either someone will buy it up, all these people are lining up to buy TikTok, or... TikTok will lobby Congress or something. Will they won't they won't go through on it? In the meantime, we'll continue to do YouTube at lunchtime. We'll do TikTok in the mornings and evenings. That's what I've been doing. Probably for the St. Patrick's Day parade, I'll do TikTok because that's my largest audience. And uh, we might meet up with Brandon. Chris Chris is going to be down in the parade. I don't know. I know. It's going to be really chaotic and hectic and we'll figure out to uh, play it by here but we're going to try to do the dying of the river green there this saturday for the saint patrick's day party weekend and then we'll go to the parade there downtown and we'll go uh hit the bars after that we'll head through the town there look daffodils daffodils are blooming here's look at these little look at these ducks or these yeah there's geese this type of there's a type of ducks. I got them hanging out here. Here's the other end of this, what I call the swan pond. And that, yeah, signs of spring. As we enter the, leave the zoo through the Brower Gate, we'll go by Cafe Braher, and we'll head right out to the, uh, look at the nice blue waters of the South Pond here. Look at that view. Look at that view. I mean, thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, but Tara, you remember from last year? And I'm going to try my hotspot this year. I'll have a backpack with a backup battery. Remember, when I got in the crowds, I lost my connection. And it's because every time we get in the crowds now, when we did the Chinatown parade, it actually worked better. I'm really hoping it. I'll be pushing it. I really want to be able to do a continuous stream there when they die the river green piece. The crowds get really frantic. And it's interesting, you know. And, and uh... Hey, look at the waterfall. Yeah, she's checking it out there. Yeah, look at the... Uh, we'll walk along this. They got a nature boardwalk. So, noon, 12 o'clock in the p.m. in Chicago. We're here by Cafe Braher. And uh, we're streaming on uh, YouTube. And uh, 
checking out the vertical format to see if uh, they push in the uh, shorts. There. Tara, Tara said she already discovered it that way, which is good. At least that was, and it might just be because you, because you subscribe. I, I want to see if we get anybody that discovers it that isn't subscribed. And uh, yeah, that would look good on a cover of a notebook. You're exactly right, Lisa. Thanks, thanks for the. Uh, great notebooks you got gave me i really appreciate that and i got them at work and use them people are like wow where'd you get those notebooks i said these are custom made <laughs> i'm really you took some good photos there and thanks for that and i really appreciate it and you know right where we're at here you're right right you, you, right here by the uh south pond lincoln park zoo thanks for tuning in so uh there's a lot of lives going on in the scroll. That's good. So that's what we want, you know. And, and you know, for months I've been checking the, the the shorts there. They wouldn't insert the lives. They finally, last week, I first time I saw that they were going to try to do it. Now, on Saturday, we tried to, I tried to use the YouTube app. YouTube has an app for your phone. They have a thing just like TikTok. You just hit the button, you can go live. And it's real easy. But there... The resolution was fine on my end. People were tuning in. The resolution was bad on their end. And that's the problem I had the last time I tried to use the YouTube app to live stream. We, the Dale Talk has the same problem. He complains about the same thing. I've heard him complain about YouTube resolution as well. Because both Dale Talk and I, we got backups on YouTube. We got to be on a different format. Because, you know... TikTok likes to ban us. <laughs> here's, here's, uh, here's, uh, look at that view straight on to the John Hancock. Look how you can look over to the Trump and this one Chicago Tower. There's the Sears Tower or the Willis Tower, whatever you want to call it. Look at Eugenie Terrace. Look how nice that looks there. And now that the weather's getting nice, I'll, I'll start bugging Jeremy and Jen and see if they can get me up to that pool. And of course, Brandon's got a beautiful amenity deck there at the the uh, Optima, and we might see Brandon on uh, St. Patrick's Day. He might hang out. That'd be that'd be awesome. So when we can hit the bars and go around and enjoy the day there. Hey, how's it going, Dolores? This is the same quality as TikTok. Good. So, and it's because I'm using Streamlabs. Uh, thanks, Tara, for the feedback. Yeah, it, I, I think if I wasn't using Streamlabs, it would be but worse resolution on your end. That's what we we found on Saturday. Now, the thing is, I would rather use the YouTube app because I can see the emojis and uh, their interface better. But, hey, there I'm seeing the emojis. Gregory just did, gave me a bunch of thumbs up with a smile. Now, I saw that emoji, so that's working better. Um, but here, look at the, yeah, here's the uh, south pod here. Keep wanting to tap your screen. Yeah, I know. It's Isn't it funny how the different ecosystems, I don't know if YouTube has a different way to do it. And uh, it's funny. <laughs> it's good on your end the way I roll. Good. Thanks for uh, the feedback there. Here, we're, you know, where we're at here by the Grand Sketch. Actually, this is the same walk I usually do when I walk through the park heading through work. Because I'm going to try to get downtown by 1 o'clock and work the afternoon in the office there. Make Actually make an appearance in the office, show my face in the office on a Monday. It's good to do. And uh, look at, uh, yeah, farm in the zoo. But yeah, we got, we're blessed with three days in a row of highs in the 60s. This is the first. Tomorrow it's going to get almost to 70 degrees again these uh, see how they did some control burns look they did some control burns this is not uh, a wildfire they they did some control burns they do this in the spring look over there they did some control burns to to uh cut down the the brush burn it off so the new little plants can uh, burst forward forth and here's the geese there's a, there's a nice little, oh, the, the, mallard, the mallard couple. They mate for life. Isn't that amazing? They stick together. 
And the male, the males are the one with the green head. The female is the brown one. And then there's the uh, there's the geese. Look at that. Yeah, that's okay, Lisa. That's okay. That's okay, Lisa. Thanks for tuning in. Do what you got to do. Yeah. It's, and the good thing about this on YouTube, if you if you if you miss it, I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna walk through the Gold Coast stuff I do all the time. But uh, if you miss any of it, want to watch it, you can watch the live rerun. It'll just be in uh, vertical aspect. There's there's where the bats the bats uh, got a habitat there. That's a that thing on the pole there. That's for the bats. Here they talk about it here. Safe harbor for bats. Nature Bar Walk offers local bats a place to rest. There they are. There's a cute bat right there. Oh, the cute bat. There. Maybe we'll see some bats later today or tonight. And that's good. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for watching the reruns. Many people do. You know, not everybody's available to watch during the lunch hour. And usually when I post it, you know, like... We'll get 50, 60, maybe 70 people at most. Usually it's 30 to 40 like now. And, uh, but as soon as, as soon as that posts and it goes to the reruns there, which is immediate on YouTube, we'll get a few hundred people that watch it that didn't watch it live. At least that's what the numbers say. They might not watch the whole thing. They'll just see where I'm walking, see if they're interested in it. You could watch it at your own convenience. Isn't that nice? But hey, what a beautiful day we got here walking through Lincoln Park, Chicago. And we'll eventually get to the nice housing there in the Gold Coast. Mona, how you doing there? Yeah, the, the, the ducks. They don't they don't involve the ducks don't involve lawyers in their their lifelong mating. I don't I, I, how does anybody know? I guess they, they tag them, they've done studies on them. You know, they're pretty loyal for, for animals. You know, it's amazing they do that. And I always joke, is it interesting? You know, they were talking about it. Okay, so did anybody watch the Oscars last night? They, you know, they, and of course, you know me, the wannabe hippie that's too young to be a real hippie. Um, I remember in the 70s when that streaker ran across the stage there at the Academy Awards. It was so funny. That was a big thing in the 70s. And so they, they it was like the 30th anniversary. So, of course, Jimmy Kimball had to set it up. He's like, well, imagine if we had a streaker today. And, of course, they had that big, beefy guy. He was naked, and he used the card to cover up so they could show it on TV. And, you know, who knows if he was truly naked or not. He looked like he was naked. But then they covered him up, and they were like, they're all ready. There's an article in the New York Times or Washington Post about you know, the women have to wear the, the plunging necklines and exposed skin, and women that wear those, you know, you got to sit nervously all night hoping your dress doesn't fall out you know stuff like that and the disparities between women and women which is true for humans this is the human condition you know the the, the gender disparities and why do women got to wear makeup and men don't you know and that's why i joke that the ducks the male ducks are the ones with the beautiful plumage and the beautiful green feathers and like the peacocks those are the males to attract the female and so for in birdland the males are the ones that wear the makeup and the females are just all look the same and so for humans think of a man with a suit suit and a tie every man looks the same clean cut shaven you know this, this present this business and the women you know they can have elaborate dresses wide range of styles but then they you know expose skin makeup all this. and it's mainly because i always joke and i could be wrong about this I'm a man. I'm wrong about a lot of things. I, I don't mean to generalize stereotype. We got wide variety of women. Some women don't wear makeup. I get it. You know, some men wear makeup. I get it. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I always joke. This is a joke that women wear makeup not because of men, because they compete with other women. <laughs> because you know, sometimes you know, women will put on more makeup when they're going out with their friends than on a date. And it's not that you're trying to outdo their friends. It's just like they want to, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just a observation. And, but I'm, I'm talking about the ducks. I'm talking about the ducks and uh, how the ducks, the males are the ones that wear the makeup. <laughs> Shows you nature could go either way, especially the peacocks. And uh, it's beautiful either way. Yeah, thanks. Go Cubs. Gregory, yeah. 
Thanks, Chanel. Thanks for backing me up. I, I, I need I need your good, all my women friends here on this platform. I need your perspective because that's what I don't get. I, I'm not married. I don't have a significant other. Sometimes men, we can get way off. We need the perspective of good women to uh, keep us in check here. Make sure we're not mansplaining everything all the time. <laughs> I do I do my share of that, don't I? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. There's Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. Lincoln Park. Hey, we'll head past the uh, Lincoln statue here. And uh, here we're going underneath uh, LaSalle. Lisa. Yeah, we're Animal Kingdom. See, see, Lisa knows. Lisa, you know from, you know, all your animal hierarchies. And isn't that interesting? The different... Uh, some of the birds, the, the, the males, they go through elaborate dances. They bring like little, like they, they'll bring like different colored, like, like, like buttons and rocks and they'll put them in front of their nest because it's to attract the male or the female, a bird in the wild. Isn't that interesting? It's almost like having a fancy car or a fancy house to attract their haircut. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You know, all these uh, parallels. You know, yeah, I would have liked to seen that presentation. Yeah, we we, we need a we need a, 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 a TikTok or YouTube synopsis so we can check out. See, the, this is the Latin school. So the Latin school is around here, and see how they use the park. I don't usually come through here in the middle of the day, so I didn't. I never notice when they're out at recess, but it looks like some of the Latin schools out at recess here. We got twelve twelve. Beautiful day to go outside, and they're just. They're playing a they're playing a football game over there. Yeah, look at that. Playing with the teacher even. And there's some kids over there. This is the historical society, Lincoln Park Zoo. We're over here by the Lincoln statue. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for putting up with the vertical format. We're testing it out here. And uh, what a great day to we got some wind. Go out and enjoy this this beautiful sunshine at lunchtime here. This worked out because since I worked from home in the morning, I could leave my coat at home. It was 31 degrees this morning when we saw the sunrise. And now I can just ditch that coat because we're going to be warm the next three days. And I won't need to wear my coat for the next three days here. Here's uh, Abraham Lincoln. Look at the Lincoln statue, the standing Lincoln. In Lincoln Park, Chicago. This is this nice. See, here comes a bunch of students. It's probably the high school students they're coming out probably going to the sports field it's probably the gym class and they're going over to the soccer field over there and going to uh have some phys ed or something hey you're doing the same thing tara that's good it's good to have the flexibility isn't it see i shouldn't knock it it's good positive negatives everything oh, what a nice day here in the lincoln park look at this look at this tree more signs of spring. You see those red buds? Look at that. You got the, uh, you know, all that noise is all the students over there. Look at this. Look at this red bud. Just ready to burst forth. We got March, March, uh, March 11th. And we got buds on the trees already. To me, this is earlier than usual. It's just amazing to see how these trees are just ready to pop some of these flowers yeah i can't wait to it either i want to show it to you we'll be showing this all spring i'll be i'll continue to walk through this park that's the good thing about having seasons we get to see this in fall and spring and winter time we still didn't get much snow this this winter i know that's fine with jay for you know of course follow the city walking girl and uh but uh we didn't get much snow at all this winter. It was strange, at least downtown. And uh, I know that's why I hope we don't get a hard freeze, Lisa. And it, it hurts. It hurts all the trees. That's what I'm worried about too. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to uh, Chicago. We're just heading into work here on a lunchtime. Here we got 12:15. We're already down by north avenue so i think we're in good shape here we'll cross with these people yeah we're crossing good
here and we'll cross over this way. There's Lincoln Park, the Lincoln statue. And you can look straight up there. Here's the uh, Latin school, the high school portion. We'll head down the uh, beautiful sunny side of the street here. Merrick, how you doing there? Crystal Blue Funk, how you doing? Welcome to uh, the vertical TikTok. Don't worry, I'll still do landscape YouTubes. I'm just doing uh, this uh, vertical aspect on YouTube as an experiment to see if the resolution from Streamlabs is better than from the app and to see if they push it in the shorts and uh, then I'll I can cut this out and make some shorts. I know Instagram calls them reels. They're all pretty much the same thing, work the same way. Looking good, thanks. Thanks, Crystal Buffo. Yeah, see, you remember how I was trying to test it out on Saturday and the resolution was bad, so that's why I switched back to TikTok when I walked over to Best Buy on Saturday. So I, I dummy me, I was like, well, maybe if I do it from Streamlabs, and just keep it in the vertical instead of landscape maybe they'll push it but i don't know i don't think they're really pushing it that much the tara found it by going to but i think it's because you're already subscribed which is good appreciate that here's the uh here's some daffodils trying to bloom here's the beautiful housing here on uh dearborn street the, these these buildings will look really nice when they're they're flowers. Look at the see. There's there's some daffodils trying to come out here. March 11th, we got daffodils trying to bloom here. This is amazing. We got the ground cover, nice uh, curving uh, stairs. Here, the hot, and this is a nice building. Look at that. The whole time, I uh, uh, Jen, you, you should eat. She said it right, and I've been saying it wrong. It's Richardsonian Romanesque, not Richardson Romanesque. I would name the architect whose name was Richardson, but to say it correctly, it's Richardsonian Romanesque architectural style. And it shows you I'm not a true architect. I mush my words. There is a daffodil blooming. Daffodils trying to come out here. Signs of spring, Anne Marie, Michael. Yeah, nice stoops. Little look at the, the mailbox there. Does anybody still get mail anymore? I still get mail. Usually it's just bills and junk mail. <laughs> Every once in a while I get nice. I got some nice Christmas cards from some of y'all. I really appreciate that. That was a nice gesture. People I met through YouTube, and TikTok. Some a few people sent me holiday cards. That was awesome. Thank you. Thanks for that. But. uh Hey, look at that. There's this, there's balconies just, looks like they're just stuck on there. But here, here's a green, here's a tree getting green. 1446 North Dearborn, we got some green trees right here. Little buds. Got to be in the mid 50s here already. Look at these nice uh, facades here. Yeah, you are. Thanks, thanks. Lisa, it's 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 good because uh, there's nothing wrong with the old analog way, you know. Actually, like you know, handwriting stuff. You you've done it. Sign the card. You know, it's it it it's, it adds an extra human touch to it. You know, someone actually had it at their desk and put a stamp on it. <laughs> I always wonder if we could create like a subculture where we reject the you know not, not to be like luddites or rubes but just to think about it if, if if you really want to get off the grid you could still use the u.s mail system to create a whole correspondence and then it would be harder to censor it because they would actually have to open the letter and read it you know which which would be tampering with mail and you know if you really want to not be surveilled you have but you have to wait you have to wait and now the mail takes longer than ever to deliver because they're cutting back service <laughs> but, uh, yeah friend in russia northern california thanks for tuning in 
Hey, did you discover this live by going through the shorts or where are you a subscriber there? I'm trying to see if YouTube is actually pushing the live streams within the shorts like TikTok because that's why I'm in the vertical aspect. Normally I live stream in the horizontal aspect and I saw that they they were in, they were putting some horizontal I think you they could, you could still discover the horizontal but I tried to use the YouTube app and the resolution was poor so I'm using Streamlabs. I usually stream from TikTok but we're experimenting with this on YouTube just in case they do ban TikTok eventually. But uh, you just start looking at the live stuff. That's good. Well, thanks for uh, tuning in. Welcome to Chicago. Yeah, we're walking through the Gold Coast here. We got a beautiful 55 degree, 1221 in the afternoon day in Chicago here, the Gold Coast. We're north of the Central Business District, just walking through this historic Italian 8, expensive housing here, and uh, condos and uh just heading to work here i'm gonna work the afternoon from the office downtown we do this uh often if you check out my page here we got plenty of videos on chicago but uh, thanks for help you hope you're doing okay with the snow and the weather crazy weather all around there's the orchid man <laughs> Yeah, this is America. Welcome to Chicago. Welcome to the United States of America, planet Earth. How you doing there? Where are you, where are you tuning in from? Here comes a motorcycle. Yeah, the motorcycles are going to be out in force today because we got beautiful weather and air's passing. And uh, we'll cross the street here so I can show these beautiful facades here. This wonderful block we have here on Dearborn Street, the Gold Coast of Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for... Uh, watching here on uh, YouTube yeah there you go thanks Michael Anderson thanks for the uh, pen and that there you got a cousin that's good yeah we see we're all connected a lot of people tune in they got family that lives here people going to school might have lived here when they grew up and moved away here's the uh, look at this beautiful those keyhole windows those round windows this is a um, Dearborn Street this is a Moroccan revival style built in the 1890s I think and uh, look at that blue turquoise stained glass windows across the way look how the sun's hitting these look how nice it looks during the day see I don't get this in the morning you know we get now we get the this sun hitting these facades and it just really makes them pop on these mansard roofs and is that nice yeah Patricia thanks for tuning in here yeah now we're getting some people let's see let's see if we get the YouTube audience start to build as I head over towards Michigan Avenue. We'll walk down Rush Street and eventually get to Michigan Avenue as we usually do. And uh, as the height of the buildings increases, usually so does my audience, at least in the morning. We'll see if it happens over lunch here. And uh, hey, we're at Goethe. Goethe and Dearborn here, the Gold Coast of Chicago. The Mario, uh, Mario Stefani Way. Mario's. Uh, Restaurant right here, casual Italian dining, 21 West Goethe. Look at that block. And here's the uh, Three Arts Club. Of course, it's the RH Furniture Store. You can go inside there. There's a Three Arts Cafe. They got a beautiful atrium. Hopefully, they'll be getting this outdoor seating out uh, ready later this spring. Here's a cute dog. Oh, your old typewriter. Yeah, you could do, yeah, yeah, that would that would have been nice to type out some letters there on that nice uh, silver reed. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, we've been walking, we've been walking in these streets for over a year. Unless you're going to be the person that mugs me, we, we, we usually don't get mugged. And if I do, I can handle it. You know, I don't know what world you live, you can get mugged. You can get mugged at the mall, you can get mugged at your church. You can get mugged uh, on the internet. <laughs> Why, why would someone just write that? You know, it's just like, you know, you're driving in the car. You're going to wreck. Watch out. I'm like, man, a bunch of nervous nillies here. Just like, come on. I'm just heading to work. <laughs> then it'll be like, where's everybody at? There's nobody on the street. I'm gonna get, I might get run over by this garbage truck. Watch out. I might get run over. Oh, that car might hit me. Watch out. Don't leave the house. Stay home where you're safe. 
<laughs> yeah, thanks, Chris. Thanks for uh, thanks for helping out. You know, and the, the, the person might have thought they were joking, but it's it just, you know, put a ha-ha or like a smiley emoji or something. You know, yeah, I, I, you guys get it. You know, it's just, eh, I don't know what, you know, I should just ignore it. But sometimes I acknowledge it. It just like shows how ridiculous the statement is. It's like, you're on the beach. You're going to drown. You know, a seagull's going to take your toupee. Okay. Here's uh, <laughs> There's the uh, Walgreens. Power specialist. Here, we'll head down Dearborn Street. Look at this beautiful sunshine. It's not going to ruin our day. Look at all these places. Look at these nice uh, posters of all the beautiful locations throughout the earth. Some people might be tuning in from those days. Here's the, here's the Mothers. Bush McGuire's. So next Saturday, we'll go by these places, see how crowded they are. I, I, I probably won't be able to get inside because there'll be lines out the door, but we'll just be streaming from the streets, checking out these bars for St. Patrick's Day. Here we'll cross the street here right at the... Yeah, they're starting to get the decorations out. Look at the flags there. Mothers, Bush McGuire shenanigans. These bars here on Division Street, the Lodge. Yeah, it shows you how good the propaganda is. You know, and there's bad things that happen in Chicago. We all know there's bad things that happen in New York, L.A. There's bad things that happen in Las Vegas. It doesn't stop people from going to Las Vegas. You know, it's just like, where's your uh, where's your sense of adventure here? Here's Hopsmith, the lodge. And it's because of what Chicago represents. You know, the, the large portions of America do not like it because we're a bunch of liberal jerks that live by the lakefront. That's a stereotype. There's all political persuasions. I, I meet conservatives in Chicago, liberals, people that are apolitical, not, you know, people that have dropped out of the system, people that are angry with local Chicago politicians, even though they live in Chicago, just because we live here doesn't mean we're all support everything that goes on here you know we just like where you live it's uh, sometimes you're ruled by you know it's such a small amount of people actually vote in our elections too you know and uh, it's a shame but here we turned on uh, now we're on State Street heading south from Division we're in the Gold Coast Chicago Going to head down Rush Street. They're still doing construction there in front of Carmine's. We'll check it out as we go by here. We got 12.28 in the p.m. heading to work here. And uh, there's the subway. It's the sound of the subway going underneath us. There's the John Hancock. The red line makes a bend right here. Starts heading south. And uh, early and often. Yeah, vote early and often. Yeah, Rush Street used to be the party spot. Now, not so much. You know, there's a few clubs here. There's the Devereaux. There's, uh, let's see, there's, uh, you know, the, the regular meat market stuff. The, uh, the, they're redoing Carmine's, uh, Gibson's, Bellevue. They're re bringing back the Tavern on Rush, but I think it's at, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Hey, oh, great. Thanks for watching. That's awesome. Yeah, you're like, hey, that's awesome. That's good. Enjoy the weather. It's great. Yeah, see the people are saying hello. And, and uh, yeah, we're just walking down uh, Rush Street here. Here's Lou Melnati's. There's Lou Melnati's, a great uh, Chicago-style pizza joint there, Doc Martens. See, there's a, there's a nightclub at the top of that, kind of a rooftop bar. And uh, they rebranded. It used to be the Cactus. Now it's uh, Devereaux the top there and the here's the goddess in the grocery the viceroy the viceroy is the name of the hotel i think and there's a restaurant at the bottom there they're working on the street here so i'm gonna have to cross and walk around this we'll see if we, if we can get around this somehow but they're, they're doing construction here on uh rush street they've been doing construction here for a while here and so we'll uh we'll cross the street right here i guess we no we don't have to cross the street Look at this giant pit they got there. They're working on the water pipes here. This is fresh and uh, maple. Fresh and maple. Look how it's flirting out the sump there. Yeah, look at that. 
There's your city at work here. Hey, they got another hole over here. Look at this. Meat market. Yeah, that's what they call it. Pejoratively, they call it the Viagra Triangle. People call this area the Viagra Triangle. There, look, they're digging. Look at that. Digging in the hole. This is the city that works. Yeah, they've been, they've been, they have this street all tore up all week. Southwest Georgia, Anna Marie, thanks for tuning in there. Alvin, picture quality's better? Yeah, it's better because I'm using Streamlabs. Thanks for uh, dealing with it. If you saw it on Saturday, I tried to stream from the YouTube app and the resolution was bad. So we're using Streamlabs. I'm able to stream in the vertical aspect. A few people have stumbled into my live from the shorts. That's what I'm looking for to see if youtube's going to start pushing live streamers through their shorts to compete with tiktok and it comes at an interesting time as congress is trying to ban tiktok and we all know about that but uh i'm not leaving tiktok i'll ride it to the end but uh we'll see if the end ever comes see look they're still working on rush tree sounds like they got a jackhammer going on in that parking garage huh so we'll deal with the construction noise here. We're on Rush Street. Yeah, we need some attention. We need some attention. <laughs> Look at me. They should become politicians. You want some real attention? Attention, run for office. <laughs> it won't be the good atten attention. It'll be bad attention. There, I'm trying to get away from this noise. It just sounds like a lot of jackhammering going over here. So over here, we're by the Prada here. We're by uh, uh, Oak and Rush here. Here, we'll cross the street here. We can. Yeah, here's uh, Oak Street, the Fashionista Street here. Hermes. Yeah, let's head, let's head down. Let's head down to uh, Oak Street here. So 1232, welcome to Chicago. Here's Hermes. See, look at this nice. They, they 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 did such a great job with their window displays here at Hermes. I like it. And I'm not trying to promote these luxury brands. I'm just I just like walking past their window displays because they actually have nice window displays. Give you something to look at. Mark Jacobs, Kristoff. Here's the uh, Lafayette. Pomelato. Look at that jewelry. Yeah, welcome to Chicago. Look at look at look at the the, the, the door handles of ring there. Hey, you got some security. How's it going? How you doing there? It's great. Golden Goose. Got some jewelry here. Bravco. Go to Bravco. Say hello to Ma hello to Michael and Howard and Barbara. Right here. Right next to Tory Birch. Exotic diamonds. Low. Everything's low except for the prices. There's the Esquire Theater. We're heading down uh, Oak Street. Hey, Daryl's turning in from Bur turning tuning in from Burbank. Thanks for tuning in, Daryl. Yeah, we're doing uh, YouTube in the vertical format today. I'm seeing we get any new people in the shorts if not we'll go back to doing it landscape and uh there's chanel number five here we got the nice window display here at the chanel there's a few people heading down shopping on oak street here the crease opening soon good see i i show you you know oak street's doing much better than michigan avenue it's amazing how the high-end the high-end shops are doing much better than the middle end and you know it, it you know it goes back to the the wealthy are doing better than ever right now it's us in the middle of the bottom that are getting squeezed and notice the inflation a lot more but if you own assets all assets are inflated look at bitcoin bitcoin's at 70 some thousand i mean i just can't believe that people are willing to pay that much for something that's really based on nothing but 
you know, I guess if it works, it's just a store of value. As long as you get somebody else to buy it for a higher price than you bought it for, the greater fool theory, you could be the smartest person in the book. But the higher it goes, the less of a chance that somebody's going to, you know, you could buy a fractional 0.01 Bitcoin. But it's not really a real currency. It's, just, it's like gold. It's a store of value. And then you got to pay capital gains on it. You know, you don't have to pay capital gains on your dollar fluctuating. <laughs> it's a fiat currency anyway, I know. I know, that's why that's why Bitcoin works, because they're all fiat currencies, including Bitcoin. <laughs> Cryptocurrency is just another way to do it, you know. Here's, uh, so here, we'll, we'll go, we'll go uh, Michigan Avenue here. We just went down uh, Oak Street. Hey, look at the bright sunshine here on Michigan Avenue. We're in the home stretch here. Yeah, Chris, Michael, Kevin. Kevin's in the house. Good, Chris. That's good. Yeah, zero sum game. The funny thing is, it's taking money out of the real economy and putting it into this other economy. And the Fed, I can't believe the Federal Reserve allows it. If you and I would we we, we create a competing currency, they would throw us in jail. But if the Winklevoss twins do it, all the big brokerages now, that's what happened today. London, England's allowing people to buy Bitcoin now because it's, it's so valuable that people, their, their high-end clients want to invest in it. And uh, the establishment bought into it. That's what, makes, that's what makes Bitcoin possible. The establishment is bought into Bitcoin. All these crypto hackers and, and uh, you know, they, they made millions and billions off, which is funny. But then they, they, now they're the establishment, you know, you're, you're the establishment too. You're not an arachno, you know, uh, anarchist. <laughs> you're, you're, you're beholden to Wall Street and then the FDIC will not bail you out. Watch. They won't back it up if it crashes. They'll just let you flail there. Look at the John Hancock, Michigan Avenue here. Now, one thing about streaming in the vertical format here on YouTube is I can't stream out, I can't zoom out any further than this. So I, on TikTok, I'm able to get the whole John Hancock, but on YouTube, it's hard for me to get the whole thing in here. Maybe if I cross the street here, a lot of noise. They're uh, blowing out the leaves there. Here we'll cross Michigan Avenue here. We're here by the West End, there's the Palm Mall. That used to be the uh, Playboy building. Now it's just a residential building here. Across the street before this car runs me over. There's the John Hancock. Yeah, thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right here. I'll live stream it so you can watch. Do you want, do you want that to happen, samplers and things? Yeah. <laughs> So here's the here's the uh, fourth press here's the fourth Presbyterian Church looking nice here on Michigan Avenue. Here's the John Hancock, 100 stories tall. Look at that, got the X's in it for wind shear. There, firearm restraining order information there to Cook County Sheriff. <laughs> hey, look at the Park Hyatt. All these kind of there's there's the Cheesecake Factory. There's the Cheesecake Factory. It's in the sunken plaza here at the John Hancock. Yeah, if I need to use the restroom, there's restrooms there. Restrooms 360, Starbucks, Benihana. There's restrooms all around here. I can go in the water tower place. There's public restrooms. That's a good thing. If nature calls, you got you got stuff around here. And uh, hey, there's a Vespa going down. Hey, look at that. Hey, we'll get across the street here. <laughs> Some comments are just best ignored. Here, what are you going to say about American Girl Place? Come up with some snarky comment about that, like dolls using the restroom or something. Here, uh, so here's H&M. That's all vacant. We'll see if anything else moves in here. But here's the water tower place. And uh, so, hey. Hey, at least I'm proving that new people are discovering my page here through the shorts, and that's what I wanted to see, that uh, new people that don't usually tune in 
are tuning in. Here's the Easter Bunny. Is this a live person or is this just a, I think this is just a statue. So this is where they had Santa. They had Santa for uh, Christmas and now here we got the Easter Bunny. Here's the Easter Bunny just sitting there. Yeah, it's just a statue. There's the Easter Bunny just hanging out there. It'd be funny if there's somebody in there that starts moving or something. Hey, Easter's in the air. I guess the end of this month, right? The end of this month is Easter. Here we got, uh, look, Dutchy Carry, Dutchy Carry Way here. And uh, there's the Great Water Tower, Chicago. Thanks for tuning in here. We'll go by the uh, Park High at the Pump House. There's the Optima, or the, uh, the Olympic, Olympic Center. Olympia Center, I gotta say, right? Brandon, how you doing there? Thanks for uh, checking in on YouTube. Kyle, you're new. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for, uh, I'm glad that you were able to discover this through the shorts there. That's what I've been waiting for. We've been waiting for, for us live streamers. YouTube was supposed to start putting the live streams within the short, you know, when you, when you, when you scroll through the shorts there, but it took them a long time to get it going. And there's still problems with their app where the resolution, but I found if I use Streamlabs and if I go through the vertical, that's why I normally stream on TikTok, but I want to have a backup here. And we, we've been doing this for months now here at lunchtime. We got a good crew of people that tune in. I usually stream in landscape. And, uh, but we're experimenting here. And thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Chicago. We're at uh, Michigan and Chicago. There's the water tower. Look how nice the water tower looks, the great water tower of Chicago. Of course, it survived the 1871 uh, Great Chicago Fire. And we're just heading down towards the river here because I'm heading to work here. We got 1242. I got 18 minutes to make it down to Lake in Michigan, and that's the direction we're hand on the, hand, 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 or, uh, headed to. Good, that's great, Kyle. Well, welcome. Thanks, thanks for spending a few minutes in Chicago, and you can go scroll and see something else. Isn't that nice? See, we're all connected here. Chicago and Michigan. This is the heart of the magnificent mile in Chicago, and that's one of our iconic historical relics there survived the great chicago fire they widened the street and this is called the mag used to be called the magnificent mile and it has a lot of you know there's tiffany's ralph Lauren, some residential buildings there's a walgreens here and then we got the neiman marcus we'll just head down and if i zoom in here you can see there are people much more people midday lunchtime than there are um in the mornings, when I walk through in the morning, sometimes there's not as many people out here on Michigan Avenue. Joel, Joellen, motivation came, that's good. Call of Duty, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Michael. Yeah, Brandon, yeah, I, I hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if, uh, it's up to Brandon if he wants to join us for St. Patrick's Day. I'll be out streaming St. Patrick's Day when they die the River Green next Saturday. I'll be on TikTok. So if you're new to me and you want to follow me on YouTube here, please make sure you follow me on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, I know not everybody's on TikTok and they're about to ban it anyway. So what's the difference? But um, we'll see if they actually go through with it. No one believes it's going to happen because it didn't happen last time. All the talk, several times they tried to get rid of it. But uh, hey, signs of spring. Look at the look at the tulips. The tulips are sprouting forth here on Michigan Avenue. They plant these in the fall. We saw them planting the bulbs in the fall right here, south of uh, Superior. See, here's the Superior. There's the, there's the one there's the one Chicago Tower. Look at that. And uh, we'll go by the it's Sugar Store. This used to be the Disney Store. Now it's Sugar. Same difference. <laughs> so there's there's a big uh, michael there's a big parade on saturday the downtown parade i think chris is going to be in it and uh on sunday there's a big parade it's it's the south side parade it's down on western at least last year they i think i got to check to make sure let me let me check today to make sure they're still having the south side parade there down by beverly and uh some people consider that the true st patrick's day parade in chicago but uh, we'll probably just see the one on Saturday because I'll probably be exhausted after Saturday. Here, we're going to run across the street here real quick. 
We made it. We're going to the scaffolding here. Yeah, spring's on its way. Spring is on its way. All these signs here, like we're going to have three days of 60 degrees in Chicago, early March. Not bad at all. Here come some sirens. Ambulance. There's, there's a lot of hospitals in this area. So if you watch Chicago Med. Yeah. number 11 there's the giant Starbucks look some people are lined up here in front of uh, Nike town and getting some people's information there but yeah there's the giant Starbucks we always talk about four stories of coffee drinking plus uh, we got a rooftop rooftop terrace there so we're at uh, we're at Erie we're at Erie in Michigan Heading south here. Welcome to Chicago. How's everybody doing here? It's a party on Western, yeah. Go to go to Gil Hooley's, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go by the Trump Tower. It's because I work near there. I personally, as you can expect, am not a big fan of Mr. T there, but uh I know people that support him, you love that building, so I show it. I show it and say the name because I don't insert overly my personal political opinions. I try to treat this like a radio station, but I, I appreciate if, 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 if you reciprocate by just not putting a political yard sign in my comment scroll because uh, everybody's already made up her mind. We could have the election tomorrow with probably the results will be the same. Why do we have to wait through all this money? being wasted on political campaigns everybody's already made up their mind who they're gonna vote for not vote for you know i know the enthusiasm's on the right because you, you, a lot of people feel cheated we know what that feels like after al gore <laughs> in 2000 <laughs> and uh, here we'll go we'll go past the uh we'll go past the La katrina statue here michigan avenue Look, they're taking, see those cranes, they're taking down the Christmas lights. So it's hard to see with that truck in the way. We'll get it when we go by. But here's, here's La Katrina. Sarah and Diana and everybody was laughing. And needed the, because they said, oh, I, they, I got a crush on La Katrina. Here is the La Katrina statue here in front of Colores Mexicanos on Michigan Avenue. The Mexican Day of the Dead statue. She's looking nice there. And uh, it's just something to film. It's just something nice to film. Here, we'll cross the street because then I'll go underneath these buckets. We'll get a close-up. They're taking down the Christmas lights. So signs of spring. Not only are the tulips blooming there, we got, uh, look at Michigan Avenue, how nice it looks here. We're, uh, this is looking north. Michigan Avenue, Chicago, right at uh, Ohio Street. And here's the Under Armour. And there's some people out and about. And We'll cross the street and see they're taking down the Christmas lights. That's what they're doing. They're taking down the Christmas lights here on Michigan Avenue. What a nice view here. Mr. T. Yeah, I wasn't talking about B.A. Baracus. I was talking about the, 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 the somebody want, asked to see the Trump building. So you know what I'm talking about. Here, look, they're taking down the Christmas lights here on the tree. Signs of spring here. Yeah. We filmed this last spring. I remember when they were taking down the Christmas lights. So, made it till March. Made it till March 11th. There were still Christmas lights up on Michigan Avenue. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Hey, Mr. T's from Chicago. The real Mr. T, B.A. Baracus uh, from the A-Team. The real Mr. T, I mean, he lived on the North Shore there. At a mansion after he, you know, got famous, but he, but, but in the seventies, in the late seventies, he was a bouncer, Mr. T, with all the gold chains. He was a bouncer at some Chicago disco clubs. Imagine going to a disco club, Brandon, in the seventies, and Mr. T was the bouncer. That really happened, and you know, he really, 
that's how he learned his lingo. He would talk like that when he was a bouncer, you know. <laughs> and then uh, he just played himself. It was great, you know. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in there. Hello, spring. Yeah, look at the Intercontinental Hotel, Michael Jordan's restaurants at the bottom there. It's got the pool on the 17th floor. There's the Tribune Tower. These beautiful uh, vintage skyscrapers. And uh, hey, learned something new. Thanks, Patricia. Oh yeah, the Trump. The Trump's a nice building. I mean, when it when it was first built. You know, I, I was I was interested in it, but then they put they put his name on it, and that kind of ruined it for me. The corporate branding. I know they put it on they put it on Lowe's. You know, would you would you like the building if it said Biden on it? You know, I, I I'll, I'll ask. Uh, keep clean, clean, clean with three ends. Would you like Would you still like the building if it said Biden on it? You know, do you like it just because it says Trump? He doesn't really do much with the building anymore. You know, and uh, of course the the first apprentice. The guy that won the first apprentice was from Chicago and he was the one that managed it. And I worked with people that bought real estate from that guy. The, the guy that won the first apprentice. Not not in the Trump Tower, but in a different place. We'll see it here pretty soon here. I, I show it when we go by. But uh, here's the Tribune Tower. Here's the Intercontinental. These used to be the Medina Athletic Association built by the Shriners. But uh, we'll see what happens. Look at that. Uh, isn't it interesting how now all of a sudden Trump's backtracking on TikTok because he wants to bash Facebook. And I'm not I'm not a big fan of Zuckerberg either. I'm not a big fan of Meta, Zuckerberg, and Facebook and what they did with Cambridge Analytica. You know, it shows you there's dangers with Google, there's dangers with Facebook, there's dangers with TikTok, there's dangers with X, even though Elon Musk, you know, here's the uh Plaza of the Americas. X used to be Twitter. Here's the Plaza of the Americas. See how you can line up here and take a nice picture here with the wings here. The Benito uh, uh, Juarez statue is right there. Look how nice that looks. Yeah. They got all the flags from North and South America. Lou Malnati's is right there. You can go to Lou Malnati's Pizzeria right there. And uh, here we'll head right by the uh, Lou Malnati's walk this way. We'll head right in front of the uh, Wrigley building. Look how nice this beautiful sunshine here. And a lot of people out, a lot of people out. We got 12.53 here in the PM here. Welcome to Chicago. We'll walk across the bridge here. There's the top of the Trump Tower. There's the top of the Wrigley building. And uh, corporate America. Yeah, welcome to corporate America. This is where I work. And believe me, I complain about corporate America too. I'm stuck in corporate America. You know, I'm, I try to get away from it too, but it's hard. We're all forced to invest in corporate America to have a retirement. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're invested in corporate America. Look at uh, look at the Wrigley Building. And here we'll head over to the Chicago River. Here, can you see the top of it there? Yeah, people taking photos here. Here's the Chicago River. There you go. There's the Trump Building. There's the tall Trump Tower. And there's the Chicago River. And the Wendella boat's out on a cruise. So the Wendella's cruising around. We'll see it later this week. We'll walk on the river walk because it'll be uh, beautiful sunshine. Oh, no, not beautiful. Beautiful weather, warm weather, first half of this week. It might rain. But here's the uh, bridge house. There's more people taking pictures here. And we'll head across the bridge here. They're still working on the DuSable Michigan Avenue Bridge. The Apple Store is right over there. There's the Apple Store. But here, the Chicago River, Trump Building. Yeah, it looks clean. So this is the river before they dye it green. So take note of the color. Some people say it's green year round, but it really it'll really be green next Saturday when we go down here for the they dye the river green for St. Patrick's Day, the Saturday before. There's the uh, Trump Tower. And then there's the river walk. And oh, the bridge is moving. That bus moved. I, here's the uh, London House. Mather Tower's peeping out behind it there. There's people jogging on the river walk, Chicago River. There's the uh, Maria Towers peeping out. 
Yeah, clean city. Yeah. <laughs> Happy son. <laughs> yeah, we got up to 59. So I, I, I might continue to stream in landscape because I didn't really see YouTube push the live that much. For some reason, TikTok, TikTok really, TikTok really produces, really, really uh, pushes the lives, and that's why it's great for live streamers. And that's why I live stream from TikTok the majority of the time because you get the biggest audience. YouTube, they, they got, they got to figure out to be a better friend of live streamers. I don't know why, but look at the beautiful view here. Look at the. Wrigley Building, the Tribune, Intercontinental Hotel used to be the Medina Athletic Association, and uh, 53 53k views. Noodles. Well, hey, that's great. But was that live streaming or was that on a was that on a TikTok? That's good, Noodles. Well, how, how did you do that? Was, was did it push your live stream or you have a you probably have a lot more followers than I do? which is, is usually how it works, you know, and there, here's the London house. Here, we'll head across the street here. That's great. Picture quality's great. It looks amazing, that's good. That's good, that's pretty good, Noodles. Well, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you be watching my live, and uh, I should be watching yours. That's, that's good. And uh, there, there's the Marina Towers. And uh, Smash Burger. Yeah, we're going, this used to be the location of Fort Dearborn. The War of 1812, that's where they have the Here stood Old Fort Dearborn. You can look it up here in London House here. North 360, North Michigan Avenue. We'll head right down Michigan Avenue and heading to work here. Yeah, London House. Oh, you, you stream from Manhattan. That's great. Well, I'm glad. There's so many great uh, live streamers. You probably know Dan All Day New York City, Kenny, Jeremy, uh, and uh, Marty, Marty Mayura. All the great live streamers, you're one of them too, Noodles. That's great. Thanks for tuning in. And there's so many, there's so many people that live stream from New York. There's far fewer that live stream from Chicago. Chicago is hard. Jay City Walking Girl, she streams from Chicago. Vic Cohen live streams from Chicago. And there's a few others, you know, Liz Skates Chicago. She roller skates around Chicago, which is amazing. And uh, but it's hard. It's hard live streaming Chicago. New Yorkers, you you get the bigger audience. Sometimes people tune in, they'll be they'll they'll they'll, they'll just assume I'm in New York. They'll be like, go to Bryant Park. I'm like, you know, I'm in Chicago, you know. And then they're all confused, and they're like, I didn't know Chicago had any skyscrapers. And I'm like, well, I can't help you out there, you know. You know, <laughs> what do you think we look like? We 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 I guess we look like, you know, whatever they they saw Spike Lee's movie Chirac, and that's what they think the whole city looks like, which you know. People want to tune in to see that too. <laughs> They're like, show us some violence. I'm like, come on. I'm just walking to work. But uh, thanks for tuning in here. And uh, it, thanks for hitting the hearts there. You met Vic Cohen? That's great. Yeah, Vic's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't run into him. Of course, I ran into Jay, City Walking Girl. I ran into her several times, but I have not. I've come close to running into Vic. And I need to get to, I, I want to like take him out to lunch or something, you know, he, he's such a great guy. And uh, here's a, uh, look at uh, that view looking up Michigan Avenue, that classic view with the John Hancock. And look at, look at these rims, wow, that's nice. See, all the nice cars will be out, there'll be convertibles out today, motorcycles will be out tonight. So, tonight I'll go back to being on TikTok and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep, uh, We'll keep uh, streaming on our normal schedule there. Thanks for uh, checking out here. That's good, Dumbo. Yeah, that's underneath the underneath the uh, what the Manhattan and the uh, Brooklyn Bridge there. That's great. Yeah, that's a beautiful area down there in Brooklyn. But thanks for tuning in. Check out uh, Noodles there. Thanks, Chris, for bouncing and Brandon. And uh, thanks for checking out the YouTube stream. It was a nice experiment. We'll probably go back to landscape. I just want to give this a try. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, everybody. And uh, we'll see you on TikTok tonight. Thanks a lot to our moderators. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in here. We'll see you in a few hours on TikTok. And we'll see if there's motorcycles out and all that stuff. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you, Brandon. See you, Tara, Merck, Noodles, Chris.
and uh, Patricia. Thanks, everybody. Okay, talk to you later. How do I turn this off? Now I can't, now I can't figure out how to turn it off.